Hi, I'm Rachel Mueller from the University of Wyoming Cooperative Extension Service. And today we're out here at the Browns property. Um, they're probably about 12 miles north of Casper. Um, actually, Evansville is uh, more of where they're north of. Anyway, we're out of this property, and um, as you can see, it's a blowout area. They want, When they came in and did the construction for the house, um, they left a lot of disturbed um, area. It's about an acre of a really sandy site. It's kind of harsh. Um, last year, we came through, and we actually seeded this area with a broadcast seeder. However, due to the sandy soils and windy environment out here, um, we didn't have much success with our seeding. So, this year we've come back and we're actually trying to do a drill seed which actually sets the seed into the soil and we are coming back with a roller to kind of compact that and try to get that seed to soil contact um, hoping for a little bit more success. There's Indian rice grass seed in there too. That's the only thing that kind of scares me a little bit. Is uh, there's some sand drop there's seed. There's wheat grass, western wheat grass. Western wheat. So if we say that's about a foot. I got a major two major. Oh, I got one too. We can maybe back it off to about a five because we might be going a little bit heavy, especially as we hit bumps yeah. and stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of uneven ground, so that's what I would do. All right. So that should give us about 20 seeds per square foot. So we'll set it at a five, and I'll try to run about four miles an hour if I can, probably somewhere between three and four. Mm -hmm. That'll work. Mm -hmm. Want to try? We noticed we were having some troubles um, with the forb and some of the shrub species traveling through through the tubes. So we went ahead and removed the tubes and broadcasted the last portion um, of our seeding project. That way, some of the fluffier or um, more difficult seeds could could get on the ground, and, and we wouldn't have to worry about them traveling through the tubes. So we're back at the Browns property to look at our success of our seeding. Um, is if if you remember, we came in and we seeded in April. It was about mid-April, and now we're back. It's mid-September to look at what we have. Um, as you can see, it, it can look sort of bare and sort of sparse um, to the to the eye right now, but in my opinion, we had a fairly successful seeding here. The previous year, we came in and we broadcast seeded, and we didn't have very good success with that. Sometimes you have to make adjustments for, for each site or for your situation. So we, we looked at this very unstable and, and sort of harsh climate and thought maybe drill seeding is a better way to go and we might get a higher success came in and we're actually seeing some rows of grasses that we planted, um, some wheat grasses come in, some blue grama adapted to this site. We, we looked around and we said what, what type of plants should we put in this seed mix that are adapted to the site and um, it looks like we're, we're getting a bit of establishment. Um, you know, again, it's, it seems somewhat sparse right now, but um, I usually tell folks to give your seeding at least three years um, to, to really assess what's going on. It takes plants, especially in Wyoming's climate, um, a chance and usually a three-year period before you can really see what's going to establish and what's not going to. Um, again, looking out at the landscape, we see a lot of this Russian thistle around. People may say, well, that's a weed, we need to get rid of it. On this particular site, I wouldn't be too quick to get rid of these Russian thistles. Um, they're acting as sort of a, uh, um, 
a catchment area or a, a microclimate, which is catching some of that soil and some of that moisture to provide a, a good environment for these grasses to come in. Um, again, these are pioneer species or the first species to emerge and you'll see come up um, stabilizing that soil and um, providing the, the first grasses and the first plants to um, reestablish more. So they'll reproduce both by seed and by um, roots and you'll see this place fill in nicely hopefully into the future. Um, so I, I think we've done a pretty good job here. I hope that the landowners are pretty excited about the, the establishment that we've seen so far.